Hello, welcome back. We've uh, been away for a few days. Got back yesterday and we've had a harvest off our beans. Beans was something I wanted to talk about if you've not grown them before. Uh, these here is a French bean, uh, the variety is Cobra. Now, we had a harvest off these late yesterday afternoon and as you can see with the camera, but this is what the French beans looked like yesterday afternoon. And these are the ones that I didn't pick, and this is how quickly they soon fill out. So the one at the top here, just above it, I would say is over its best. That's not really how I enjoy them. We shan't waste it. And when you do have climbing beans, whether they be these French beans or runner beans, they want picking certainly every other day, in our case at the moment, every day. I would use scissors, and um, you don't have to because they will pull, but I don't like to damage the plant, so I tend to just use a small pair of scissors and snip them. And the great thing about these climbing beans is that they just keep on producing and producing. There's still lots of flowers on here. And what they will do, they will keep going until the first frosts come. They're also really, really good to freeze. So that you can enjoy them later in the year. And what you do have to do is search for them between the leaves. The ones that are pretty obvious to you, that's fine. But if you look between the leaves, <laughs> right at the bottom there's a mass of leaves, and yeah, <laughs> there's some more here. They do like to hide from you. And it is important that you do harvest them regularly, because once too many of them go to seed, and produce this seed, the plant will ultimately stop producing. That is its function. It wants to keep producing these so that it can reproduce. We have a family of four that live here. We've got a larger family than that, but we have four people that live here at the moment. And uh, there are eight plants around this wigwam. And there's more than enough beans that this supplies for us to have fresh vegetables, fresh off the bush, as they are now. But equally, because it does produce so many, to be able to freeze lots and enjoy throughout autumn and winter. Well, I'm going to continue harvesting from this bush and then we'll come back to you. So that's a harvest of French beans. What I would say is why would you ever want to buy these type of beans from a supermarket when just eight plants they produced that and they'll produce the same again tomorrow and they'll do the same again the next day. And as I say they'll go all the way through to the first frosts. So the other beans that we have here are runners and we grow two varieties which are a variety called Lady Dye and White Lady. Now we've grown Lady Dye for a number of years. They are a nice bean. For the last few years they haven't produced in the way that we would have liked. And I read somewhere that Sometimes the red flowers varieties, they don't always set their pods when the weather is quite warm. The white ones are better. I have to say, we've had many harvests off of, the, off of these over the last few weeks and they do seem to set their pods a lot more, better. So, I'm going to harvest some of these. 
and this is the sort of size that I like to harvest them. They remain stringless and there's no bean in them yet. Now people do also like to let them grow on and produce their beans and that's good because you can store the beans and use them as pulses over the autumn and winter period. We don't do that, we use them as a green vegetable in the form that you see them in now. And just like the French beans is a question of, yeah, coming out here and uh, picking the ones that are the size that you want. And it's one of the great things about growing your own. You can determine what these beans are going to look like and how you wish to eat them. We've been really busy in the garden today. Uh, obviously just getting back, the lawns needed cutting, edges needed cutting back. It's amazing how much growth the grass does put on when you're away for a few days. Uh, and of course, we've had lots of harvests. And that's the great thing about this time of the year. There's an abundance of harvest, which you can probably see here on the bench, where we've harvested our produce. This is just today's. A nice crop of blackberries off the blackberry bush and there's still lots more to come. It'll, it will fill that crate. Plums. These are the beans that clearly we've, you saw us harvest a little while ago. The tomatoes keep on producing. These have been really good. The Mazzano. It's the first time we've grown those and they make wonderful tomato sauces. They really do. Virtually seedless. And when we now get in, we want to make some stocks and uh, yeah, so we'll pick some celery. Celery I tend to pick from, I don't pick the whole plant, I just pick from the sides and the bits that are large enough for us to use. That way the plant keeps producing. And some carrots to make the stock with. This is a variety called Shantony, red corn, and they've got quite nice and large these potatoes, uh, these are our main crop potatoes, um, they are a variety called Cara and we want to do some roast potatoes this afternoon which is why I've harvested some. The rest will be harvested over the next week or so because the plants are dying back um, and then we'll store those for winter use. There's some good sized potatoes there and yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, trying those out. I haven't grown Cara before so Really looking forward to that. Well, I hope you enjoy looking at the beans today. And if you have a little bit of space, you can see they don't take an awful lot of space. There are just eight canes there and eight plants growing up. One of the easiest plants to grow, you just keep them watered. Don't stick them out before you've gone past, well past your last frost date, because frost will kill them. Uh, and they just keep producing and as I say they'll go on and on producing right up until in our case November time when we start to see our first frost and the plants eventually get killed. What I would like to say is that uh, we've had quite a few people subscribe to us just lately so thank you very much for that. I always get lots of comments and really adore getting your comments and uh, I always try to answer back as soon as I can when I notice that there's comments there. Um, so many times before I'm no expert you're joining us on this journey because all of this is produced using a new dig system. Regardless whether you use a new dig system or not, I'm sure some of the varieties we grow and the way we grow things, how we harvest them, um, 
will still be just as appropriate to you. The difference is that you'll turn your soil and I won't be having all that hard work come October and November. So thanks for subscribing and your likes and your questions. Please keep them coming. And don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Stay safe, keep well, and we'll see you back in the garden soon.